we offer free preschool, free full day kindergarten, and, and it's, it's all underperforming districts. And I just, granted, we can support, North Reading can support itself and other towns a little bit better than some of those underperforming districts. But I, I, th I think, if selfishly, I think we have to look at the needs of, of our community. And I don't see us benefiting from, from a program like this. And you know, we have to charge $4,500 for full day kindergarten. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what it is for preschool, 2,500 or 2,000 or, and to see all these districts offer, you and I almost have the same yeah. response at the same time. And, and, and to put it in perspective, I did the math on that, and you're looking at almost $900,000 for us to provide full day. Right. Mm -hmm. Which has no chance of being funded. <laughs> Where would that come from? Right. Well, my commitment is to make sure that, you know, I bring these issues to you. I do appreciate your, and value your feedback, and I will bring it back. And I also wanted to just, again, pledge our support with North Running United for Education. And we want to encourage a lot of parent involvement this year. Our first priority is to get, you know, a strong uh, group of parents there for October 28th. And that's what we're working on. Great. Great. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Dean. Just a moment. The student report. Welcome Thank back. Thank you. Hope you all had a good summer. Um, Sure, tonight. Uh, I think the big thing is school just started uh, four days in as of two o'clock today, and um, not a lot to talk about. Four days, it's the middle of September. Yeah, well, who started? <laughs> <laughs> aren't you, we chose the I say, aren't you happy that the school committee decided not to start until June 9th? Isn't that a great? Well, you there's know, only one, really right, there's only one right answer to that question, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Can you either please ask yeah. the right. superintendent? Good, good, good decision. <laughs> But uh, uh, a couple sports things. The football team uh, beat Ipswich last Friday, 26-0. 20, uh, the volleyball beat Revere last weekend. Uh, boys and girls soccer won. Boys came back to win. Uh, it was Hamilton won them. Girls won 3-2. to two. Uh, Field hockey's getting off to a good start. They, uh, they held Georgetown to three goals. They did lose, but throughout the, uh, their scrimmages, their preseason, they only lost one game. So they're doing uh, very well. And with the construction on the way the field, and looking like progress is getting done. Um, uh, uh, the teams have had to accommodate, but they've done well. Some people go to Ipswich, uh, they're using the middle school facilities here, uh, so they've been uh, doing well. And the uh, fall play was announced, it's called the Miser. I, I personally don't know a lot about it, but I'm looking forward to seeing it. I liked seeing the rain last year. And the, adi uh, the auditions are next week. Um, the Student Council is uh, hosting Rachel's Challenge, and if uh, you don't know what that is, it's, uh, it's an inspirational Assembly. It's uh, a, the girl, one of the first people to be uh, killed at Columbine shooting. And it's her family and friends coming down around uh, speaking her message. And um, they're having three assemblies: one for uh, the, the lower, the freshman, sophomore, and one for the, the upperclassmen, and then one for the parents and the public uh, that evening. And that's October first. And the student council has been very active with fundraising and things like that for it. And then tomorrow night, uh, there's one for the athletics, uh, sober thoughts. That's another um, assembly that's mandatory for all athletics, but should be good. Um, the Apple Festivals this week and the chorus, the string ensemble, and the a cappella group Notorious are, uh, are singing that, or performing that, I should say. Uh, picture day is tomorrow, so you get ready. And uh, the student leadership and mentoring, uh, the SLAM group had their first mentoring uh, last Friday, and we had a, I'm, I'm a part of that. And we had the, uh, the orientation over the summer, it was August uh, 18th, I think it was, something that and uh, we gave them a tour we showed them uh, around the building and last Friday we kind of checked in with them and s seen how they're doing and we're doing that once a month month until about uh, April and May and um, for student work uh, last last Friday Dr. Chong sent uh, myself and a couple other reps an email I kind of figured I'd be here today but when I found out uh, I had a very hard time trying to think of something to do but I, I, uh, I thought of something we had summer work for uh, AP US history this was, I'll pass that around and I'll explain it. We had to read this book. It's a short history of the United States by Robert Remini. And it was very good and I recommend it. But we had to do a, something called a note-taking guide. In every chapter we had to uh, uh, find the major, the theme, whatever the, the, uh, the author was trying to get across in that uh, chapter. We had to write a summary, whatever it was, 15, 20 sentences. And we had to incorporate the College Board theme. So instead of trying to you know, uh, say them all, just printing them off, and uh, these are the major themes. You had to incorporate three of them into each chapter. So whatever it was, if it was the chapter on slavery, uh, 
Civil War slavery. You could have put in reform, slavery, and legacy, then war and diplomacy. You have to explain how the author, the, um, the author used the, incorporated those into the chapter, how they're lasting throughout the book, things like that. So you had to use each one. There's 11 chapters, three for each. And I wouldn't bring in the paper. I, I ended up with 11 pages, 3,500 words. So by far, it's one of the longest. <laughs> So I'm not wow. looking. I'm not looking forward to college papers, but <laughs> you practice this summer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> those papers for AP are pretty much. Um, I mean, maybe a little more difficult college, but that's pretty much what you'd be writing in college. Yeah, so and it was. It was a good book. It wasn't. Science. It was. It was. Uh, Robin Remini's one of the uh, uh, historians for Congress, the National Library, and uh, it was a very good book. Very interesting, and hopefully that kind of gave a broad overview. I have, I have to do AP home. AP home. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> after the Patriots. After the Patriots, of course. <laughs> and uh, that's it. Any questions? No? Great work. We look forward to working with you this year. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Okay. I like how we incorporate his escape into the presentation. Yes. That's good. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Good strategy. It's my second year. Yeah. <laughs> the politics of it. Well, next on the agenda, um, the school committee is pleased to announce that we've come to an agreement um, on a contract with the North Reading Teachers Education Association. Um, the NREA has ratified a tentative agreement on the new contract. The, um, the school committee is really pleased, and um, the provisions are as follows. A 0% increase in year one a 1% increase in year two, and a 1.75% increase in year three. It is a three-year contract. Um, in year one, the teachers will be eligible for a step increment of one-half percent. Um, no, no, one, one half. One half of the step. Of the step increase. Right. right. Excuse me. That's good. Um, but we do want to say that we are really pleased um, with the work that the Teachers Association did in realizing the fiscal crisis that the state and, and the town of North Reading is in. This shows a great amount of leadership on behalf of our teachers, that they were willing to work with this group and within the confines of our available revenues, and that they were willing to sign a three-year contract, which will give some stability to our budgetary process over the next three years. It is just an incredible sacrificial move on behalf of Teachers Association, and it is our hope that they have set a model or an example for the other town employees to follow and to just really participate in helping North Reading sustain during these economic times. I know that Mel and Jerry worked with the Teachers Association in coming with this contract. Um, Jerry, thank you. Yeah, the, the Teachers Association was extremely cooperative from the very first meeting that we had with them. Uh, they recognized the fiscal, I hate to use the word crisis, but the fiscal circumstances that we were faced with. Um, they, I, I think, as Maureen said, they took a tremendous leadership position uh, by ag agreeing to these terms. Um, and just to give you some idea of what uh, taking half a step means in, in this, this current fiscal year, uh, and Kyle, correct me if I'm wrong, but the step raise is just, and this is generally, we go from anywhere between two and five thousand dollars, and the teachers have essentially given up half of that incremental pay raise, and approximately half, a little more than half of our teachers are entitled to that. Um, so for them to do that, I think it's unprecedented. I, I know I've been here ten years, Maureen's been here longer, David's been here fifteen years, and, and um, I don't know that that's ever happened before, or it's even been thought of before. So they, the teachers' association. Their bargaining committee, uh, their offices deserve a tremendous amount of credit for, for doing this. And, uh, and and again, they they absolutely recognize the, the circumstances that we are in. I think it it benefits um, obviously the entire school district um, by them um, agreeing to this contract. So uh, I give them a lot of credit. I want to thank them. They were these were great discussions this time around. Um, uh, they were always at a high level. And you know, and again, I can't say enough about you know the uh, the effort that they made in, in making this uh, happen. So, and I, I again, I, the bargaining committee itself, that this is not an easy thing to do. Go back and tell your membership chief, 
we got to bite the bullet. You know, for the benefit of the whole, we have to bite the bullet and, and take a zero percent increase this year and give up half of our step and then one percent next year. But they did it. I, I just want to want to second everything Jerry said. Um, and it wasn't easy for each side because it seemed like each meeting we had, there were more dire financial uh, circumstances on the table. Every time we came back, the state had cut local aid. Uh, the the rules were changing for stimulus money. We had no idea when the applications were going to be here. Um, and, and all along, that that uh, executive board and negotiating committee for the NREA, um, as, as Jerry said, the, the negotiations were just outstanding um, for the for the entire time. Um, the second thing I want to you know explain is that you know the steps are really built into the contract. There's a I think most teachers have 12 steps, and those are steps they get every every year. Um, and, and for the teachers to, to, to agree to taking half that step, as, as Jerry said, is it's unprecedented in, in North Reading. And it's, it's significant, and it demonstrates, I, I believe it demonstrates the NREA's commitment to, um, to our school system. And, and I, I couldn't be happier uh, with this, um, and I appreciate all the effort that the teachers put in. Dr. Troughton, um, our attorney, who was, who was great, the representative from the MTA, Jill Coleman, um, just everybody at the end was on the same page, and, and I think that that's, that's really important in, in running and managing a school system. Essentially, half the teachers in the district for this fiscal year took a pay cut. That's, I think that's accurate when I say that. Mm -hmm. We were able to avoid layoffs and keep our class sizes reasonable, um, and it will help us in the future to budget and staff along those numbers. So um, it's a great, great day. Um, as some people may know, um, the town administrator uh, has a vote on the teacher's contract. Greg Balconis is not with us tonight, although he supports and endorses this contract. So his absence here is just because he had a commitment out of state. Um, in addition, Cliff Bowers will not be allowed to vote on the contract. And as some of you may know, Chris has a daughter and son-in-law that work for the North Reading School System. From taking the position, so well, we should also note that Cliff was not present dur during poor Cliff. We had to throw him out of every executive session uh, we had over the last. Uh, not that he minded. Yeah, he just hated leaving. <laughs> right. Yeah, he got to go home before midnight. So Cliff did not participate in any of these negotiations. So hearing that, can we have a motion? I will move that the school committee approve the agreement negotiated with the North Reading Education Association which calls for a 0% increase in year one, a 1% increase in year two, and a 1.75% increase in year three. And in year one, teachers eligible for a step increment will receive one half of the monetary value of that step increase. I'll second that motion. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. It's 4-0. Thank you. Great. Yes. 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 Oh, one abstention. Oh, okay. So, moving on to the next item on the agenda. Um, this one's not going to be easy. Um, Superintendent David Troughton has submitted his intention to retire effective November 1st. Um, so, I'd, l I'd like to read David's letter in the public. And Mrs. Barker and school committee members. It's with the sense of mixed emotion that I submit to you a letter of intent to retire from my position as superintendent of schools in North Reading. I have served the district as superintendent for 15 years and completed 35 years as an educator. The effective date of my retirement will be on or about November 1st, but no later than January 1st, predicated upon the transition to a new superintendent. Reluctantly, um, report on this. Um, the superintendent, as Jerry said, has been here for 15 years. I came on the school committee right after David got the job. And um, this isn't an easy time because I think David has been the backbone of our school system. Um, certainly, we've got a great staff, but we all know that the superintendent is responsible for hiring our administration, um, getting them to work cooperatively as a team, setting a tone 
keeping the curriculum and the textbook.